Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're going out on the boat with my old man today. We're going after some mackerel and pull some pots. So stay tuned. It's Smash Fishing. Woo! Got a beautiful day today. Not a huge amount of wind, slight onshore breeze, but nothing too much. And hopefully we can get lucky with a few larries today. And maybe some mackerel, pollock. We don't really know what we're going to go for on the rods, but we'll soon find out. Hell yeah, looking forward to this one. Here comes Lily May. Cracking little boat this one. The old man's got a few gadgets on it as well. <laughs> Oi, oi, Captain. What a beast. Sorted. Check that, that's a fisherman's boat and a half right there. <laughs> the bait right there it's got maggots coming out of it and all that check that out and we're fishing fingers crossed we can find some mackerel we've got a medieval fishing rod that i'm using at the moment <laughs> All I'm doing is going up in the water column, just seeing where they are. And once you can find the height of them, then you can keep dropping down and hopefully you can get lucky. Big old shoals of mackerel showing. Let's go get them. <laughs> where were they? Quite deep. Yeah. Getting outfished by the old boy. <laughs> Oh, hey, that's a big old mackerel, that one. Nice. A few more of them, eh? Delicious old mackerel. Still there? Yep. So you got a couple on there. Yep. I can't hook them to save my life. What's that, a pollock or? <laughs> it's got to be a pollock, eh, surely? Oh, just a, that's a beast, that thing. The size of that. <laughs> Two nil. Two nil. Uh, <laughs> that's that one. that's, that's a cracker. Got, that's got to be. Over that's got to be. Look at the size of that. That's a mackerel and a half right there. Fish on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> got to get myself on the leaderboard. <laughs> Yeah, not a nice mackie there. Fresh mackerel. We're using my dad's homemade feathers as well. They work a treat. There's just not a lot of fish around at the moment, so we just gotta try and pinpoint them. Always important on a boat, guys. You gotta keep your, your fish nice and fresh. My dad's got a load of ice blocks here that he keeps the fish on. Uh, keep for a few days in that thing, eh? Yep. Oh, the young ones coming in, Dad! <laughs> They're right at the bottom, then. Oh, he's off. Is he off? No. Nope. Is that your line? Oh. So I'm straight into it. Fresh mackerel on the boat. These are the homemade mackerel feathers, guys. They're made out of 50 pound line and it's just got a free flowing hook. And that's why we've been catching them on. They work really well, these, and you can pull them out of the weed. Oh, here we go. Yeah, boy. <laughs> well, we're both in now, guys. We've got a few. Two. 
Ah, fireworks. <laughs> they wonder, we were getting away. <laughs> There you go, nice tail wrap there. As long as you get them in, that's all that matters. Call them moins, baby. They definitely found a decent shoal here. Yeah. Oh, I'm on a load. Look at that. <laughs> Quite well. Yeah, scrapping like hell. Two again. Yep. One there. Good thing about these strong mackerel feathers, guys, is they uh, you can just pull the fish off. Makes it a lot easier for unhooking. You've got a load on there, you must have. Oh, look at that, scad. That's good pop bait right there, eh? Happy That's proper pop bait. Here we go. Oh, they're in in force now, Dad. <laughs> This is what you call fishing. <laughs> oh, I foul hooked him. Oh, he's in. Bringing them up now. They're right close to that bottom, eh? Yeah, yeah. Hogging it. Mackerel. There's some lovely mackerel, big ones, eh? Yeah. Here they come. Old school's beating new school today. Check those mackies out. What's that you got on there? You got a bass? Yeah. Check that bad boy out. Nice. That's a cracker, Dad. <laughs> oh, probably a two pound bass there. On the fevs! Hey, happy days! That was sick! I've got some different sort of feathers. These ones are more for the uh, pollock and bass. All different colours. There's quite a big string of them as well. So if I hit into a few pollock, we're going to have a laugh. Got a few different species of jellyfish in front of us. All different colours. Wonder what that is. Good fish. Like a oh, yeah. You want to be another bass or something? Oh, it's a pollock. Not a bad one there. Got him. Look at that. Lovely little pollock there. Good eating size, eh? Good pop bait. <laughs> Beautiful. That right there guys, that's called a pollock. Really good eating. Look at the colours on it. Beautiful. Yeah. And they get big, these things. That looks like a good fish. We'll be bringing our pack with <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Two. Oh, you got two on? Yeah. Two Double shot of Pollock here, guys. Oh, that top one's a good one. There we go. That's how it's done. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> well done. That's a beauty. Cracking size Pollock there. Look at them. We'll give you a proper show of everything after, guys, once we've finished fishing. Well done. Oh, old school's beating the new school today. <laughs> Little Mackie. Come on, I want one of those nice big Pollock. Lovely sized Pollock here, guys. Check some of those out. Beautiful eating fish. And they're highly prized as pot bait as well. Fish on. <laughs> yeah. They were definitely on the finder. Nice double hook up. <laughs> Bring them in, baby. <laughs> 
This is what you call fun fishing. <laughs> Oh my god! Lovely, lovely. Look at that! Do you want pop bait? You've you got it! <laughs> hey! Good thing about these big hooks, eh? you can unhook them really nicely. Yeah, easy, yeah. So. Yeah, it must have been, eh? we get some more. Yep. Breast scad in the pot. Lovely. Can't be that, eh? Loads more. Bloody luxury, eh? <laughs> He's got his umbrella out. <laughs> and we're heading all the way out here. First pot of the day. My dad's string, he's got an easy one, he's got the winch. <laughs> Fingers crossed for some nice lobsters, eh? First pot. There's a lobster. Lobster on the back here, looks like a good one. Oh, there's two. Two Larry lobsters so far. Check those out. The old measure on that one. Yeah, gonna be close. That second one's definitely going to be in, isn't it? Yeah. That's uh, just on the money. Nah, just out. Oh, just out. Just a mil. Yeah, <laughs> mil. Lobster down. Now that is lovely. That's a cracker, mate. That's a beautiful sized lobster. That's one down. A spider. Second pot's coming up. Come on, you lobsters. Yep. Oh, that's got to be a keeper. Oh, right. That's a nice one, that. It is a keeper. The gauge, look at that. Make sure. Easy. Yep. Two lobsters down, two pots. That's what it's all about. Larry lobsters. That's what it's all about. <laughs> it's just got a damp rag that he keeps over them and that'll keep them alive for a lot longer. Second string. Come on, you lobsters. Good thing about a winch. <laughs> Saves your back. Come on, you lobsters. <laughs> First pot's coming up. Here she comes. Yeah, there's a lobster in now. I can hear it flapping. 
Oh, another beauty. <laughs> Look at that. Got one small one in there, one cracker there. Nice. Check those out. That's a beauty lobster. Ain't no measuring that one. No. Yeah, a little babby one there. A little prawn. Off she goes. Oh, it's a lucky day today. Hell yeah. Next pot, hopefully we get some more. There she comes. Nothing in that one. We're winning on the lobster front today. Another beauty right there. So that's three lobsters down in four pots. We're on a good streak. <laughs> Big rocky. A big old wrasse in there. <laughs> nice size wrasse there. Yeah. Good. Lovely. Good pot bait. bait. Pot bait in all days. Great pot bait. These last in the pots for a very long time as well. Oh, she's up already. That was quick. <laughs> No lobsters. Oh yeah, got a Larry. A little one. Load of lady crabs, eh? That's a big old pot, that one. Yep. That's undersized. Nice. Nice. We get this one filled up with bait, and then we'll uh, pull the next one. Baby ones. <laughs> That's definitely not what you want. Next pot's up. God, oh, there's a lobster. Go for it. There we go, guys. Look at this. Little baby, eh? Yeah. Get rid of these spiders. I'll empty this pot out, guys. We'll get that lobster measured. I didn't see this at the top there. That. Yeah, that's definitely size, that one. Go for it. Lovely size, Shanker. Beautiful. In that one. Yep. Oh, just like the other one, eh? Yeah. <laughs> She's it. Come on. Couple of lobsters. Loads of baby crabs falling out. <laughs> the rocks just underneath us, so we gotta get the pots off and then quickly move and we'll show you guys what's inside. Loads of lobsters, but oh I see another one. Hey, okay, another lobster in there. That one's gonna be close. Little mini Larry's. <laughs> and look how small that one is. There's a little prawn. <laughs> we got big female spider. Do you want it? Dad loves them. <laughs> Good eating. Oh, right there. That lobster's 
got to be close. Yeah, we'll give him a go. He's gone. Definitely going to be close. Just chuck it in the bucket for now. Let's get this empty. Not a bad brown crab at the back there, but a bit small. Yeah, let it go. No, just go. Oh, just eh? Get that one next time. So three keeper lobsters in the end, all banded up nicely. Crackers there, eh? Beautiful lobsters. It's my dad's store pot. It's where he keeps his catch alive for when he wants to eat it. Lovely, we got brown crab, spider crab, you name it. And we're gonna have a Larry lobster cook up. It's ideal. It's not a bad haul today, really, eh? Uh, it's pretty poor on the lobsters because of the big toy. Yeah, yeah. But fishing wise, not too bad. Get this dropped off, get back to land. So that's today's haul guys. So I've probably got about 50 mackerel in there, about 20 scad. I've got my Larry lobster to eat. We've got a bass and a few pollock. That's a really good day out. That's what Lily May looks like from the outside. See all the rollers. All sorts of gadgets. We are on dry land. Gonna have this for tea tonight. So all I've done to dispatch the lobster is at the cross on the head. It's gone down with the knife and out towards the head. And that will kill it and these are just nerves twitching and then all i'm doing is getting it on the boil easiest way to do this if you just boil a kettle then speeds up the process a lot better and you just want enough water just to cover the lobster and that should be fine beautiful and what i like to do is get a bit of salt so then it enhances the flavor and I'll be eating this later on so I'm just showing you guys and all I'll do is wait for that to get to a roll and boil and we get our lobster in our water's at a boil now so all I'm gonna do is plop my lobster in and then we'll give that a good eight minutes and then we'll take her out and that's it beautifully cooked that's the lobster cooked now guys See, nice and orange. That's had a good eight minute boil. And that's from boiling. Now I'll enjoy that later on. Beautiful. That's all for today's episode, guys. I'm gonna be eating this later on. There's a great sesh. I got outfished by the old man. If you like my channel, like and subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more to come. It's smash fishing. Woo!